Hey guys, before we start today's fishing video, I want to share with you all a major announcement here at the channel. Something you guys have been asking for for a very long time is a subscriber meetup. And we're going to be doing that on March 19th at Silver Lake Park in Dover, Delaware, starting at 8 a.m. and ending at 2 p.m. We're going to be cleaning up the park, and then we're going to be fishing together off the bank, and there's going to be people in kayaks as well. So it's going to be a really fun day out there. Come say hi to us and as well a few other local youtubers we got cambo trout fishing going to be there 302 fishing we have gripping or ripping fishing a lot of the other legion of anglers guys and it's just going to be a really good day out there you know just doing our part to clean the park up and then just fishing together so if you want to come meet us and some other great people come on out march 19th silver lake park in dover at 8 a.m so now getting into today's video we're going to be reviewing and fishing with the gary yamamoto grub this is a three inch white grub and obviously Yamamoto baits are very well respected, especially because of the Senko and the success that people have on that. But their creature baits are good, all their plastics are good, and even their crank baits are really good too. So it's a very well-known company in the fishing community, but I've never used their grubs before. So that's what we're gonna be using here today. And I'm a big grub fisherman, I love using grubs. I just never use the Yamamoto ones. So I'm excited to try this out. It's a great year round bait. It's kind of like my old reliable. You can just bring that out on even the toughest of days and seem to catch fish. So we're gonna head to a location here today that I have not been to in a while. It's gonna be fun to fish it. And hopefully we can get some fish on this Gary Yamamoto grub. If you guys do enjoy the video here today, make sure to leave a like down below, drop a comment so I can interact with y'all and Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. But for now, let's get right out to the water. Let's start fishing. So here we go. We're at the spot today, and we're going to try to make something good happen with these grubs that I've been talking about in the intro. I'm actually not at the spot that I wanted to come to today. It was a spot near here. I drove there, and there was like four cars already fishing right where I wanted to be. But we've got a beautiful pond here, and I do have a lot of success here sometimes when I come. It's kind of hit or miss but uh, hopefully today's a hit. We're gonna explore some shoreline that we normally don't go to. I don't have enough time to bring out my yak today. So instead of just fishing off of this spot right here that everybody fishes at, we're gonna go up on the road, climb down over the spillway and hit that wooded shoreline over there and toss out kind of in the middle. It's gonna be windy, it's gonna be tough, but I think these grubs are gonna get it done. So I'm excited to get out here today, guys. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna travel pretty lightly today, just bringing one rod to start. And if we need, we can always just walk back to the car for another one. Just taking a couple of tackle boxes with me. Don't need all this. Let's pop that in there. And we are good to go, boys. I'm curious to see exactly what we're gonna catch today because we have a lot of possibilities. But the main thing I'm thinking we could target is the crappy. This is a really good crappy pond. And I normally do really well here in like April and May. But right now it's still, February so it's a little bit early for the crappie spawn here but who knows we'll see it's really a surprisingly nice day today like I did not know it was gonna be this nice or else I would have gotten up earlier this morning and gone fishing earlier so I had more time but we are still getting out here and I'm glad to be out here I would throw a few casts from right up here where I am right now but I literally hate standing right next to roads while I'm fishing it's pretty sketchy especially with your back turned to oncoming traffic never want to be in that situation so i'm just going to get down to where i want to be over here and we'll feel a little bit more safe as we're casting all right let's hop the guardrail again Hopefully, there's some room for us to cast down here. It looks pretty snaky too, so we got to watch out. But people have definitely been down here because there's loads of trash. As always, we'll pick some of that up on the way out. Clean this spot up. If we can get through here, I think we'll have a pretty good spot, but got a lot of branches to kind of get through. Maybe up this way. There's a light bulb on the ground. Over here it looks like a pretty decent spot, so let's give it a try. I think I can get some casts in right here, guys. Seems to be a little open area in the trees. A lot tougher in the summer to do this than I, you know, I'm doing right now, because in February 
there's no leaves, no vines growing or anything, so it kind of opens up the woods a little bit. This should work. It's a little tight, but we'll see what happens. Looks pretty fishy right here. The action on this grub is awesome. So we are using the Gary Yamamoto three inch white grub. It's not really like a clean white. It's a little bit of a dirty white, I would say. And we got a one eighth of an ounce fire tiger jig head on there to give it some color to stand out a little bit. But you guys probably won't be able to see it too well. That water is a little bit murky, but the action on the tail is just fantastic. So we could catch some pickerel, some crappie, maybe some bass on this today. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. The action's really, really good. It's a little bit bigger of a grub than I typically use. I usually go with a two inch. So bumping up the three inch is kind of new for me here. But grubs are a fantastic way to fish in the winter and year round. And you know, Yamamoto has a really good reputation as far as their plastics go. So it should be uh, productive baits here that we're using today. Right, came back over here to the other side. It just was not happening over there. I got snagged up in the tree and lost one of these grubs and jig heads. And I really just could not cast too well from that spot over there. So we came back in the parking lot right here. Honestly, not where I wanted to fish, but we'll try to make the most out of it. There's some structure out there. There's a uh, pipe marking it way out there. You know, there could be some fish hanging around that area. Usually they're more stacked up on the other side where I couldn't really get to, but I don't know. Maybe today we'll get a little bit lucky. This grub does have great action, so I'm hoping if there are fish in the area, we can produce a bite or two or three or maybe four. Oh, it's nice when that sun comes out. It's almost hot. You've got a hoodie and pants on and it's cooking me a little bit. There's a fish, ah, crap. He hit it right by the, the uh, side there. It's a good bite too. Right up next to the side. Maybe we'll come back for it. It's a good bite though. I knew something would be up and moving around today. Come on back. There he is, there he is. Came right back for it. Same spot, same fish. I just love it when that happens, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Not a big fish, but he was hungry. And I love when they come back for it. Gary Yamamoto grub, three inches long, eighth of an ounce jig head. And we got ourselves a nice February Delaware bass. That is just awesome. Thanks, buddy fooled him twice that's really good to see that they're coming up shallow like that i mean that guy was like three to four feet off of the side of this little uh wooden structure here this little wall just going with a steady retrieve on it and uh he hammered it two times in a row look at that tail action just beautiful in the water let's go up shallow again i mean there is quite a bit of shoreline that we can cover here up shallow so we just keep making those same casts like the one we made where we got that fish. Could produce a little bit of a pattern for us today. Oh, just got hammered again right there, guys. Man, this is a little bit of a pattern here. Let's do the same exact thing. Bring it through that area again. Maybe you'll hit it again. It's again, just five out or five, geez, five hours. What am I saying? I'm a little tired today, but five feet offshore is what I meant to say. He didn't come back for it, unfortunately. But we'll keep peppering that area. Man, I wish I had time to get out in the yak today. I think we could really tear him up. There's one dude way out there in, the, in his yak. I'm sure he's having a lot of luck today. I didn't know it was gonna be this low wind and this warm. It was supposed to be like 20 mile an hour winds, but there's another fish. Dang it, he got off. Tearing it up. This Yamamoto grub is producing. That was again, the same fish that came back for it right in that area. It's gotta be another small bass or a big crappie. I can't really tell. 
but they're loving the action on this thing. I think if I downsized to a two inch grub, I'd probably be catching these fish on the first try because it seems like they're grabbing the tail right now. But I do like going with a three inch right now to try to get some bigger fish and that fish just hit it again. Barely filled it, barely felt it, but it just went straight to the side and I saw it. If I keep bringing it through here, I'm gonna get him. It's gonna annoy him enough where he bites again. Castability of this grub in one eighth ounce jig head is pretty good. I can get out there, I'd say 30 yards maybe 25 just using six pound monofilament and a spinning setup here that's all you need man give a couple more cracks at this fish right here then we'll move on but i, I really want to catch him he's won the battle a few times he's got bit a couple times I think this grub is a little big, like I said, for these fish that are right here. But you never know when that five pounder's sitting there and you want that bigger hook, that bigger presentation. The good news is we are getting the bites, which is showing that this bait is working. And that guy was pretty loud, but it shows that the bait is working. And if we get in a spot where we have bigger quality fish, like the spot I originally planned to go today, we'd probably be catching some Mondos right now. This spot isn't really the best quality spot from the bank. I mean, there's some good fish out there and they could be up in here too. It's just a little more rare to catch them from the shore. All right, so we covered a good part of this shoreline right here. We did catch the one fish. A couple other ones got the best of me. We've got only about 10 more minutes left, but we're gonna cover this little area by the boat ramp right here and just kind of go with the same pattern that we had before keeping it close to shore, hoping there's some fish stacked up along this little ledge. I could do that on the bridge too if I had more time, just walking along on the outside of the guardrail like I mentioned earlier. I don't like to do that, but if there's fish to be caught, I'll probably do it. There's gotta be one sitting right up in there, you would think. A lot of good structure on that side, a bit of a you know, steeper drop off than we dealt with on the other side where I caught that fish. So you would think it's almost a better spot over here. Ah, oh, Lord, dang it. Some hammered that out there. Felt like a better fish. Nice fish, nice fish right there guys. Oh yeah, dude, that's a good one. What the heck is this? Slam the grub, we got a good one. Might be a big pickerel. Yep, looks like it from the tail. Yes, nice pickerel, guys. Hopefully it doesn't break me off. Sweet, I don't have my net, but I could definitely use it right here. These hook kind of weird. All right, I'm gonna have to try to get down on my belly maybe. Could definitely use the net in this situation but there's no mistake in that bite i pretty much knew it was a pickerel from the time it hit he just slammed it jeez all right come here buddy hopefully he doesn't get off uh, i can't really get down there ah uh, shoot come here bud all right This is not a good example of how to land a fish. <laughs> Come here, bud. Sweet tank of a pickerel, guys. Heck yeah. Beautiful pickerel. <laughs> He's got some weird looking thing on his face too, but that's a healthy one. 
and I've not caught a good pickerel in a while so it's nice to get on this guy right here got a really good hook set on him too sweet Gary Yamamoto grub right there three inches pickerel do love grubs and that is a nice healthy pickerel I'd say about 20 inches really nice fish all right let's get him right back down where he came from thanks for biting buddy thanks for the fight great fight really good fight love catching those things man so when we first started out today I was saying got probably three species that we really have a realistic chance of catching and in the short amount of time I've been here already we've got two of them if y'all don't remember it was crappie pickerel and bass I was hoping for today on the grub we got pickerel and bass knocked out I don't think pickerel is what was biting over here I think it was just more small bass like the first one we caught but uh this is definitely a pleasant surprise out in the middle right there when that thing slammed it he kind of freed up my line a little bit but i literally only have about two more minutes to fish today so if we lose our lure we lose it on another fish i don't recommend not retying but i don't really have time to retie right now so we'll throw a few more shots out there hopefully we can get something before we go Got him, got him. <laughs> I bet that was the same one that was messing with me earlier. Awesome. Look at the pattern on this fish too. Really unique and gorgeous bass. Very light colored, kind of looks like a pickle. But that was right in the same spot that I was having those hits earlier. And I just could not hook that fish because he was so small. I mean, obviously couldn't get his mouth around it the first couple of times but I gave that spot a rest went over to that side had those bites over there caught the pickerel right there and then as I'm heading out throw one or two more casts and I get this guy on one of my last casts so beautiful little bass good to finally beat you at your own game man he was playing with me all day so 